it's a really nice uh, first slide for the slide deck. I like the colors of the sky and the tent. <laughs> it's official slides. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So we're at 25 minutes past the full hour. So let me introduce Howard Zhang from ARM. Um, speaking about Kubert on ARM64 and kudos for all the work that you already uh, spent on it. Uh, so I can start, right? You can start, yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Howard from ARM. Um, uh, today is my pleasure to give you a topic on QBvert on ARM64. Um, here is the agenda. Uh, I will talk about the status of QBvert on ARM64. Um, then I will give you an introduction on cross build because we spend so much time on it. Uh, this part would be helpful if you would like to do Bazel build for Marty Arc. Uh, there are four subtitles. Uh, it, it is a step by step process in order to cross compile container image for QBvert. And uh, then I will talk about the ga gaps and difference of VMs on X. 86 and ARM64. And next one is CI test on ARM64 and all future plans. Okay, let's start with the status of QBvert on ARM64. Uh, QBvert is runnable on ARM64, which means the QBvert component like Vote Launcher, Vote Handler works well on ARM64. And uh, also you can use QBvert to control VM lifecycle on ARM64. Also the community have experimental builds for ARM64. Uh, if you want to set your uh, set a QBvert cluster on your own ARM64 server, uh, you can use this build to easy, easily be, uh, set up. Um, also, if you want you to build uh, ARM64 binary or uh, images, we have enabled the cross build, cross build. You only need to export the environmental variable build arc equal to cross build arc64. And then uh, you can use normal build command like uh, make Bazel build image to cr make cross build. Uh, next one is uh, uh, we have enabled basic ETE test uh, on ARM64, and those tests are triggerable on GitHub and also running on a daily basis to track if QBvert works well on ARM64 platform. Uh, you can get more detail about the status of QBvert on ARM64 in the forum in issue. Uh, I can give you a, a general idea what this issue contains. Uh, it contains more detail about what we have done um, for QBvert on ARM64, like uh, what uh, what QBvert, what we have enabled here, what we haven't enabled here, or so include some cross build and uh, the related commit here. So uh, if you want to get more detail, also include some discussion about the uh, enablement. So if you want to know more detail about the uh, current status or or future plans, or if you want to do some contribution to the uh, QBvert enablement on ARM64, you can. Um, it's a good place for you. Okay. Uh, next slide is about cross build. Um, <clears throat> We here we take a vote handler, uh, cross build vote handler image as an example. Uh, as um, some maybe some audience 
have no experience on cross build. Uh, so I give you a general idea what it is. Um, so cross build, cross build help us to uh, build a binary or a container image for ARM64 on x86 machines. Uh, it's quite important for some open source project because um, maybe they, those projects don't have uh, ARM server, but they do have some user who um, who may who need to run uh, the project on ARM64 platform. Uh, so, <clears throat> okay, oh, we can go back to the slides. Uh, uh, in order to uh, cross compile the uh, uh, cross compile images, we need three things. The first one is uh, arc specific RPM packages. You can see here, and uh, another one is cross compile the Golang binary like Vault Handler and uh, the Vault C C H root. Also, some image may contain uh, C source code uh, like this one. A container disk is uh, compiled from C source code, so we need to cross compile C binary. Uh, so I will uh, illustrate this three part one by one. First, for the but the uh, Golang binary, it is quite easy to do cross compile. You only need to uh, use the default go long, go to a chain in the Bazel. Like the example here, after you set the platform, um, you set the to a chain as Linux ARM64, it, uh, Bazel will download the related uh, Golang SDK for you. Like this one, it will download the Golang SDK with GoArc ARM64 and Go OS Linux. And uh, Bazel will use this SDK to do cross compile. Um, but for the C, uh, C source code, it is a little bit complex because you need to define your own tool chain. So the commit ID is here. I'm not, I will not go into the code. Uh, uh, this commit contain, uh, generally speaking, this commit contain two parts. One is uh, uh, download the cross compile to a chain, like for ARM64, e, the cross compile to a chain is ARC64 non Linux gone. This to a chain will help you to compile C binary, cross compile C binary. And then we need to config the customized to a chain in Bazel. And after we do it, uh, we can set flags to enable this cross compile to a chain. Like here, um, after we uh, set the environmental variable to cross build arc 64, it will add three flag to help us to do cross compile. The first one, Incompatible enable CC to a chain resolution, make Bazel use platform to select to a chain. And the second one, we set the platform to the customized uh, to a chain. Thus, we can cross compile C binary. And the last one is help us to cross compile the uh, Golang binary, as I said in last slides. Okay, uh, after we have cross compiled the C binary and the Golang binary, now we need uh, the RPM packages. Uh, thanks, Roman. He write a Bazel library, help us to do it. Um, we only need to run this command make RPM depends in QBvert. Uh, it will generate uh, CPU arc specific RPM tree. Uh, based on the repository in repo.yaml. Uh, here you can see this example here. 
uh, we have two RPM tree. One is for ARM64, uh, and another is for x86. The, uh, the RPM packages name are the same, you can say, but it's for different uh, CPU arc. And then now we can compose uh, the them together to generate cross-compiled image. Uh, first, we use the <coughs> we need to gen, uh, compile our base image. Uh, like the word handler, uh, we use the platform we said before to choose which RPM pa uh, tree we should use uh, in the base image. Uh, it will install them in the base image. And then uh, we can put the cross compiled Golang binary, uh, C binary, and Golang binary into the base image. And after that, we have a cross compiled image. Okay, uh, this part is about the gaps and differences of BM on x86 and ARM64. Um, uh, generally speaking, there are three main differences uh, between VMs on uh, x86 and ARM64. One is boot method. Uh, ARM64 only support UV boot, while x86 uh, support both UV boost and BIOS boot. Uh, also, ARM64 need more memory for boot VM. I will illustrate this later. And uh, ARM64 supports very limited uh, devices compared with x86. Uh, I will show you. Yeah. Uh, and this is, uh, this is an ARM machine you can see here. And uh, we run a work launcher image here to see the what device device supported by the QMU binary. Okay. This is all device supported by the QMU binary on ARM64. Uh, let's take a uh, display device as an example. You can say we only support both IO GPU and RAM FD uh, device. Uh, we not support uh, not support VGA devices device. Uh, so, in order to solve those gaps between x86 and ARM64, here is the solution. <clears throat> Firstly, we set UV boot as default boot method for ARM64, and we also ban um, uh, BIOS boot on ARM64. And for the additional memory, um, the reason uh, the reason is that uh, we use as we use UV boot uh, for VM on ARM64, it, we need to attach UV boot firmware. On ARM64, the UV boot firmware is AAVMF code and AAVMF bars. And the uh, QMU reserves 64 megabit for both AAVMF code and AAVMF bars. Uh, so 128 megabit in total. Uh, and the, you can see the source code here in QMU rooms, makefile.edk2. The edk2 arc64 code.fd refer to the aavmf.fd. Uh, it chunked 
to 64 megabit. Uh, it also happened on AA VMF VARS. So if you want to put a v VM on um, 64, uh, you need to set at least 256 megabit uh, memory at least. Uh, otherwise, you may get boot failure. And uh, uh, for the devices, we use alternative device, like uh, we don't support VGA device. So we use what I O GPU rather, rather than VGA as default video device. We also use CASA as default uh, disk bus. Uh, for the multi arc cell testing, uh, <clears throat> currently there is one um, 64 server in the CI, uh, Qbiverse CI. Uh, we have enabled this 70 core test of six computes. It is nightly wrong and it is also triggerable via type test per Qbiverse E2E ARM64 on GitHub. Uh, the main programs we meet in the in on enable CI on ARM um, sixty four is that there is no needed virtualization on the current ARM um, sixty four machine. It means we cannot run test parallelly. And the listed virtualization is available on ARM um, V eight point three and later. And uh, as far as I know, uh, the this arms arm arc cpu in the mass market is uh, not support nist kid virtualization for now okay uh for future plan we uh, we plan to enable more tests like make all sync compute test passed on arm 64 also include the same SIG network and the SIG storage. We also want to enable CDI on, on ARM. Uh, our cross-compiled patch has, has merged in the, this project, but that is, in, is needed. Uh, we also want to try to integrate QBvert with Harvester on ARM64. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it all about this topic. Thank, thank you for listening. Uh, any questions? Okay, uh, let me see. We have a question from Andre Fluk who is asking um, can we run an x sixty x QMO image on an ARM um, ARM based Cuber? Uh, sorry, uh, it's from twenty minutes ago. Eighteen, I think from eighteen minutes ago. It's actually it's different. When we have 18. an ARM host, yeah, that's, that's okay. Here. And there, Argo CD. In addition to, okay, when we have ARM host cubers, can I have can we image run top of ARM container? <clears throat> I'm not quite sure your question. You means run a uh, x86 QMU image on top of ARM container, so you don't uh, use KVM to run the container, right? You just use like, uh, how do you say, binary emulation. And I'm kind of run Windows 10 for ARM VM. Uh, we, currently, we are trying to enable Windows for uh, ARM. And uh, there is no official allowance that Windows have support ARM, but uh, we can run my 
and run, run Windows on my or experiment, how do you say, on or in our lab, lab. And if you want to run it, um, yeah, we, we can provide some help. <laughs> yes, yes, Roman, I see your comments. Another question from six minutes ago from Dan. Besides Qubit itself and CDI, are there other auxiliary projects? Um, because uh, currently only I uh, follow the Qubit project, and uh, I also have some other work. Uh, other works, so maybe I am focused on QBvert first, and next one is CDI. And after that, if I still have spell time, I will do more thing on other project. Is there? Oh, wait. Is there a way to put an um, image that the design for you boot? Uh, sorry, I'm not quite familiar with you boot. Uh, uh, I, I will check it and rep reply you later. Um, maybe via email. I use um, you respond and uh, open Susie. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, Chris, there is an arguing in HPC space. How can show me and help? How to push our effort? Okay, okay, thanks everyone. Uh, Dominic, Dominic. Uh, is this question for me or uh, because I don't see there is any relevant ways on? I think the question from Dominic from two minutes ago is about is there any hacker board known to be working for Qvert? I think he's using a different term, CV. Uh, so it's like, can, okay. can it run? Can can Qvert run with Kubernetes on ARM or the Raspberry Pi or a different hacker board? Okay, yeah, I'm not sure about this. I I don't know about hacker board. Sorry. Oh, hacker board is can be like respiratory. Oh, okay. Uh, I um no, I haven't tried it. Before, uh, try to run QVR on on um, resp respiratory. Sorry. But I think it should be fine because it's uh, because uh, the Raspberry 4 support is uh, the CPU of the Raspberry 4 is uh, 64 bit, right? So it should be fine to run to be worked on it. Okay. Oh, what storage do you guys normally use when running ARM64 VMs? Mm, what storage? You you mean something like safe or just the SSD or NVMe? I'm not quite sure about this, what storage means. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. I, I, I'm stop sharing now. Yeah, I think you ask about if it's an SSD or local storage, I mean, local storage or shared storage. Uh, oh, I think current is like safe and uh, other shared storage works fine on ARM64. Um, but if you do benchmarking, maybe 
uh, you may, may need to do more works on it, but if just use it, you can, yeah, you can give it a try. All right, with that last question, okay. many thanks for the presentation. Howard. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And the work. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. The yes, next thanks. session, yeah, the next session will then start in 10 minutes. It will be um, Zhang Guoxin about Edge Stack and Zingulus Complete VM Network Implementation. Until then, stay tuned, and you might want to take it. Use the time for a buy break. We'll be back.